Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue and working on the procedural generation of meshes. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how to create a cube. And in the previous video, we went through and created a quad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the scene and, and instead of calling it quad, we're going to call it cube. And there we go. Let's just double click it. And I'm going to delete everything that we have here except for the first procedural shape. We're just going to call it procedural shape since we're just going to have one that makes up the cube. Then the other thing that we need is right now this is creating a quad specifically. So we need to modify the code to allow for cube creation. So I'm going to double click on the script and we can make some changes, some changes in here. So the first thing that I'm going to need is we're going to need a new, basically a new variable. This variable is going to be private enum and we're going to call it shape type. Then we're going to need to determine what type we need. So we know that we need a quad and we know that we need a cube. We'll be adding more later as we get more in depth into these videos. And we're also going to need to determine what basically what type is going to be. So to do that, we're going to have to create a variable of type shape type enum. And then we're just going to call it shape type. And then we're going to set the default value, which is going to be a quad so that it works with the other example that I already created. Excellent. And then we'll go down into my update method. Now it's not going to be a lambda anymore because it's going to be a multi-line. And here we're going to have to say, okay, if shape type equal equal shape type quad, then we'll execute this generic quad method. Otherwise, we'll execute the cube one, which is going to be called by checking the condition against the cube. Excellent. So. What I'm going to do is I don't want to have to go through most of this again. So I'm going to be cloning this method and we're going to have to go through a little bit more work because there's, there's a lot of different vertices in a, in a cube versus a quad. So we're going to have to change the way that this works a little bit. So let's go ahead and call this one cube. Excellent. So we have generic cube and then we have the generic quad, which is the one that you saw that we created last time. So, the next thing that I want to do is before we start coding, I want to move into Photoshop and I want to draw what we're going to be doing. So I like that because I think it gives you a better understanding of, of what I'm doing. So we're going to need to draw basically two, two squares and I'm going to layer them so that we get a multi-dimension basically cube. Okay, so that, that works except that the second one needed to be on its own layer. So I'm just going to create a new layer and then let's do, we can just duplicate. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one. I think it's going to make it easier. And then we'll put it, basically offset it. Something like, something like that. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and create a new layer. And you don't really need to do this in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop because that's the tool that I have right now, but you can literally do this with just a pencil and a paper. That's what I did last time. I did a sketch and I also did it on, on a pencil and a paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my line tool and I'm going to use the line tool to basically connect the connect both of the squares. Then I'm going to do the same thing on, on each one of the points or, or vertices since we're talking about creating a mesh. So I'm going to have a vertice, vertice there and then last the last one is going to be at this position. Excellent. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect it's just for references. Okay. So we have, we basically have our cube. Excellent. So I'm going to cut another layer for the, just to do each face. So this is going to be the front face and then we'll put everything that is related to the front face in that layer. So the front face is going to be the one that I'm, that is closer to us, or at least it seems like it's closer to us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, let's go ahead and use the pencil. Let me see if that's big enough. Yeah, that is big enough. All right. So I need to number the vertices that we're going to be creating. So we're going to start from the bottom. So I'm going to say this one is going to be number, let's just start from zero since we have a zero index array. So it's going to be number zero. This is going to be number one. This one is going to be number two. And lastly, this one is going to be number three. When I'm talking about the vertices, I'm talking about the points that are connecting these shapes together. So like this one is a point. So this is a vertice. It's another vertice. And here's another one. 
and then lastly this is the last one all right so let's go ahead and focus on those ones first so let's go back into unity and, and that's basically what we have right now we we have multiple steps so in generate cube what we're going to do is we're going to create a vertice basically a vertice at index zero which is zero 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 which is going to be this one then we're going to offset it by the width on x which is going to basically move x by the width which is going to be that that means that y and z are going to be zero which is what we have here so that's going to be this second one the third one we're going to have to go up so we're going to start at zero we're going to go up and then we're still going to have z at zero which is basically going to give us number two and then lastly we're going to have to go basically width and height and zero which is going to say go you know go to the right on the width and then go up on the height and it's going to take us here a zero because we have a zero on z awesome so we should have our first phase created which is great now what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to focus on the on the top on the top face so i want to do the front one the top one and then we can run it in unity and see how that's looking okay excellent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another layer let's create a group first and this one is going to be the top face and again when i say a face i'm talking about the whole square that is making up all four different vertices so in the in the top face what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and disable the front face because we're done with that one then on the top face we're going to do something similar we're going to label them as well and if you remember we ended up at three so we need to start at four so i'm going to basically disable that layer and then focus on this layer so i'm basically going to do the same thing i'm going to start from here so this one's going to be four this one is going to be five and remember that we we're going from bottom bottom left to bottom right and then top left to top right so i'm going to try to keep it consistent as that so it's going to be four five and then this one's going to be six and that just makes it easier so as we're creating these vertices and seven so we have five we basically have four five six and seven and that's going to be our top face so now if we go back in here right now we only have one basically one face created which is all of these ones so let's go ahead and start labeling these so this one is going to be the front faces front face vertices now we need to do the top so i'm going to duplicate all of this and i'm just going to call this one top face vertices and now we need to change some of this numbering right because now we we're not at zero 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 instead of being a zero 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 we are starting at our height and and basically z is zero and also x is zero so this one is going to have to be zero and then the height is zero so which is going to give us this so now number five it's going to have to say it's going to still have to be a zero because we're starting let me see oh no we actually need to do we also we actually need to do the width because now we're doing this point so we need to go on we need to go across on the width we also need to go across on the on the y so this one is, is going to have to be new width new height and then z is st is basically staying at zero because that's this vertice excellent and this is where you know it can get confusing as you as you're working on this but we'll get there now number six we're still we are going to stay at zero because we're basically it's going to be across this line so if we look at if we look at that one we we do have x is zero we do need to go up so we need the height we also need depth which i'm going to use width for so this one is going to be new basically new width excellent and then let's look at the last one the last one is going to have to go we're still going to have to go up we're going to have to go to the, so if we're looking at the, the main, this dimension we're going to have to go up and we're also going to have to go to the right and we're also going to have to go in depth so and oh okay okay i think i make a mistake i'm thinking about see i'm already making mistakes i'm thinking about that phase and that's not the phase that we're working on the phase that we're working on is the one that is on the top so let me go ahead and undo 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 and the one that we're working on is the one on the top and it's probably better if i do something like this so you know so that i know and i don't make mistakes of what we're doing excellent so so this is a phase that we're in normally 
3D applications have like a little square in the in the middle that designates that this is this is that face. We can probably do the same thing on this one. So this was this was basically let's go ahead and go ahead and focus on this layer. Alright. This one we could have probably just done something similar so we know that we're working in this area. And then I'll just add a little square on the middle so that we know that that's the face. So think of this square as being something that you can pull and we can take this as a lid. So you pull it out and now you have a hole in this cube. All right, so let's go ahead and go back now that I, that I know the mistake that I made. And now we're gonna be working on this. We're working on this face. So, okay, so let me make sure that these are set up correctly. So let's go ahead and check the top face vertices. So let's go back into Photoshop. And the first one that needs to be, basically the height needs to be taken, X needs to be zero, and then Z needs to be zero. So that's what we have right here where we're starting at X at zero, new height and zero. Then the next one is gonna be new width, new height and zero. So new width is gonna take us all the way across and then new height is gonna take us to this point and then zero on Z, which is gonna give us five. So this one is correct. Now for, for the next one, we're gonna have to go up so it's still gonna stay at zero because we wanna stay right here, but we want to go up. So in order for us to, if we're starting at zero, 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 I need to go up and then my Z needs to also go back, which means that I need new height and then new width. Excellent. So now on the, on the last vertice, which is gonna be number seven, I basically need to go, I basically need to go up and then go to right and then go in my depth. So we're gonna say that I need to go the, the X is gonna be new width, which is gonna take us all the way over here. And then new height, which is gonna take us all the way over here. And then we also need to increment the, the Z because we need to go back. So for that one, we need to also do new width on the Z axis. Excellent. Let me make sure that I copy that. Excellent. So I'm gonna work on those two faces. We can test them and then we can go back through and add the additional faces. So now for triangles, I want to name these ones correctly too. So triangles are gonna be similar. So I'm gonna say front face triangles. And then we're gonna be focusing on creating them right here. And I know that I'm gonna need 12. And let me, sh let me explain to you how they work. So let's go ahead and go back to Let's go back to the first face, which is gonna be our front face. So, and then what we can do so that we can focus on triangles is we can probably just call this one face. Then let's call this one face. Then I'm gonna create a new, new layer and this one's gonna be triangles. Then I can disable this layer and show you what we're working on. Excellent. So for triangles, what we're trying to do, we're trying to divide this into two triangles. So think of it having a line right here and then a line going across. So, so what I'm gonna do, let me just go ahead and do something like this so you can see there's two, there's gonna be two triangles on each face that we need to tell Unity about. So this one is gonna be one triangle and this one is gonna be another triangle. So the way that we label those, it's gonna be, we're gonna have to tell Unity at what index each triangle is gonna be basically conform. So if we go back into, into here and we say, okay, the way that this works is we're still gonna have, we're still gonna be using, you know, zero index. So if I look at the, the previous one that we created for the quad, we did, you know, the first triangle was a zero to one, which is basically gonna be the same, the same thing here. We need to always go clockwise. So this is gonna be zero. This one is gonna be, so if we look at, if we look at this, it's gonna be two and zero, two and one. And these ones are referencing to the indexes at the vertices. So if you look at the, if you look at two and the vertices that we're working on is the, are the, the front face vertices. So two was gonna be basically the zero height zero, which is what's gonna be located right here. So we wanna make sure that we're, that we're really careful when it comes to you know, when it comes to creating triangles. So let's go ahead and label, let me go ahead and label this the way that we had the vertices. So this was zero, basically zero, one, two, 
in three. So that's what we had as far as like the, the vertices. So for the triangles, we need to do something similar. We need to tell the system, okay, what, you know, what indexes make up that triangle? So we're gonna start at zero, two, and one. That's one triangle. So if we go back here, so that's what we have here. Then for the second triangle, this is saying two, three, one. And it's basically gonna be that because we're starting right here. Then we have the other the other part of the triangle right here, and then the ending it's gonna be at one. So that's gonna give us those set of triangles. So let's go ahead and get another set. So I increment this by 12 because we're gonna need double the amount. Because this one is just for the front face. So let's go ahead and label that appropriately. And this one is gonna be for the top face. So now for the top face, it's gonna be it's gonna be a similar deal where we have, so if I disable this and we go into the top face, I'm gonna enable it, there we go. And then we can just create a new layer. Let's make sure the layer it's in the proper group. This one is gonna be the triangles. Triangles, excellent. And then we'll disable this. So for this, we're gonna do something very, very similar where, you know, we're starting. So if we go back into our faces, and now we're going to be doing something similar, you know, that we started at four, five, six, and seven. So for the triangles, let's go ahead and disable the faces. We're going to be dividing this into two. So just like I did on this area, we divided it into two. So these, these are basically two triangles. We're going to have to come up with the indexes for that part of the triangle and then indexes for this other triangle that we have right here. So if we go ahead and enable faces, we're gonna basically start, remember that we need to start clockwise. We're gonna say we're gonna go four, six, and five. So that's gonna be our new triangle. So it's gonna be four, six, and five. And we also need to increment the indexes right here. So this one's gonna be six, seven, and eight. And I also incremented this by 12. Then the other set of triangles, we need to, we need to actually go and start Let's go back in here. We're gonna have to go six, six, six seven, and five. So go in, say six, seven, and five. And, and if you look at the pattern, with the same numbers that are, are eight and five, which is five and five, are the same, are basically what we have in two and five. So this point, this vertice is basically related to the one that we have right here. So I always look at kind of like these numbers and look at the pattern to determine what my, how my top face should be laid out. So let's go, go ahead and go back into Unity and see if this is working now. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to change also, make sure that if you haven't changed it, make sure that this is set to cube. Looks like mine is already set to cube and then hit play. And let's see if we, if things are working now. And let's see what we have going on. Looks like we're only, we're only getting one, basically one face. We're not seeing the other one just yet. So let's see what we have running here. And more likely, yeah, more likely it's because we were basically overriding the vertices. We didn't really create new ones. So this one is gonna have to be A. And remember that this is gonna go up to 24, but as we do each phase, we'll be incrementing that. This one's gonna be four, five, six, and seven. And then we have 12 triangles in here. We also need to do normals. So let's go ahead and do the normals as well. So for normals, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did here. And then we'll create a new set of normals for the, from the, for the top. So top face normals. So normals, these are the direction that the shading is gonna happen to. So if we go back into Unity, and let's say that we create a, let's go ahead and hit play to stop the game from playing. And we create a new cube. And I want to show you this because this is, this is really important. So if we create it, we basically created a, a, a back face or we, create, we created a front face and also a, a top face and then we'll have a back face. So this one right here, it's going to have to, it's going to be on X negative number. So if we go here and look at forward, that is not going to be the right. So this one is actually changing. So you can see that this is zero, zero, 001. Let's go ahead and look at back. Let's look at forward. Let's look at, and it, it really depends where we're where we're starting. The so for for this one right here for the front face, 
we're gonna need to do a negative number but for the ones that are on the top this one is gonna have to be top or up there we go and won't be a negative number we'll just do up and of course you could probably add a variable to store all of these ones so you can just say up 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 instead of vector 3 that up and then we need to increment this this is gonna go all the way up to 7 and then this is gonna be 8 and to be honest I'm not gonna worry about UVs for this exercise let's go ahead and remove them we don't need them because we're not gonna be applying textures so okay so let's go ahead and go back into unity and see and see if our cube is looking better let's go ahead and delete that there we go and then hit play let's see what happens and let's see if we're getting we're obviously just getting one of the faces but not all of the faces okay so i think i found the problem where we we couldn't see the other face and that was because i'm calling the wrong method i was looking at things that were more complicated where the where the issue was was the the most simplistic thing so if you notice i'm calling the quad multiple times we need to call the cube that should now be calling the right method so let's go ahead and go back into unity and he played to stop the game from playing and let's go ahead and replay and you can see that as soon as i did that i was able to see the i was able to see the cube there we go so i can see now both faces excellent so let's go ahead and go back and so we still have we have everything associated correctly here we have only two faces so what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and create the additional one so we have i'm not going to be doing a lot of drawing i think i, I think i gave you good understanding on on how this work let's go ahead and and now focus on just basically just number them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to so i know that that one is set let me make sure that all of them are set and on the faces i'm going to there we go let me just go ahead and delete that and also so i know zero one two and three i know those ones are good then I'm gonna remove that and we're just gonna call these ones. We can just we don't need this either, to be honest. So let's go ahead and relabel them really quick. So I'm gonna go back here, create a new layer. And then so we're starting at zero, we're gonna go one, we did basically two, and then we did three, and then we started here uh, basically with the new ones, we did four then we did five we did six and then we did seven so that's great so now what i want to do is i want to do the the other area which is going to be basically you could either go left right or bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this back face so that one is going to start at a then we need to go so we can start well, let's start from the bottom i think that i think i like doing it that way this is going to be a nine then we go up to 10 and then 11 so it's a 9 10 and 11 so we can remove this and then re-add it it's gonna be a 9 10 and 11 and then what we'll do we'll do the same thing that we did on the other ones we'll just divide it and then we'll need to do 8 10 9 and then 10 11 9 for the triangle so a9 10 and 11 okay let's go back and we're gonna go and set basically create a new set of vertices this one is gonna be back face vertices we're gonna have to be incrementing this by 12 and since we're going always back at z we need to make sure that we're always z is always have a have a new width then for for or lower lower a uh, vertice this is going to be the new height is going to be zero we go back because we're starting right here then the other one is going to be new width and then the height is going to be zero because we're starting on the bottom and then the width is still going to stay now for the one on the top we're going to have to go up we stay at zero here we're going to go up this is still going to go back which is great and then lastly 11 it's going to have to be new width is going to take us all the way across new height which is going to take us up and then new width is going to take us back 
All right, so that looks good. This is gonna be, that's perfect. Now let's go ahead and set new triangles for that. So that one's gonna be back face triangles. And we're gonna increment these by one, 14. So these are the indexes of the array, 16. And lastly, 17. Now remember the, we need to go clockwise. So we're gonna go eight, 10, and nine. It's gonna be eight, 10, and nine. And then we're gonna go 10, 11, and nine, because we're going clockwise. We're gonna go 10, 11, and nine. And that should basically follow the pattern, just like I check always. So nine and nine, five and five, 10 and 10, six and six. Okay, so it looks like that's good. And now let's go ahead and add the normals. It's gonna be back face normals. It's gonna be A, 9, 10, 11. And then we're gonna increment these by four. And I think we're good there, and we're good there. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that, that it's working. And there we go. Give it a minute. Replay. Okay. And we're getting an index. Let's see, out of index array exceptions. I probably, probably went too high. Oh, okay, here, here we go. So we went to 12 here, but it didn't increment that. So remember, always increment this, and that's why I need to make this dynamic on the on the next video. But that's okay for now. It's fine. This one is. This was actually gonna be. Oh, I see where where. I, so this one's gonna be 18 because we added a new set of triangles. And then this one is gonna be 12. Okay, let's go back. And go to Unity, and let's hit play and see what happens. There we go. So now we, we're starting to get more of a, you know, kind of looking like a cube. No, not yet a cube, but we're getting there. Now let's go ahead and focus on the, the last two faces. So I'm gonna do those ones a little bit faster just so that we can get them, just so we can get them done. So let's go ahead and do the one on the bottom. So we can do bottom face vertices. This one is gonna be go 12, 13, 14, 15, meaning that now this one is gonna have to go to 16, right? Because we added four, excellent. And then now these ones are gonna be on the bottom, so we gotta go, let's go, go in here. And let's go ahead and cancel. Let's go ahead and create a new set of layers. But remember that we, we ended up at 11, so we wanna make sure we start at the next available number. So I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna remove it. And we're gonna say 12. Then we're gonna go 13. Then we're gonna go 14. And then lastly, we're gonna do 15. Then we're gonna divide it in two, just like we did on each face, divide it in two. And, and then we'll do the, basically the clockwise approach. So we'll do 12, 14, and 13, and then 14, 15, and 13. All right, let's go back. And let me make sure I get those numbers right. So that was 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so we need to start, again, we need to start at zero. So that one, it's gonna be easy because it's gonna be zero 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 then we need to go back so we actually need to go across so we need to go on the width and z is going to be zero y is going to be zero so we're going to go zero zero and then if we need to go back on the other two points we know that the, these are two these two are going to be fill in this first one is going to be zero first one is going to be zero but we need to go we basically need to go back on we need to go back on z so let me go back and make sure that that one is correct. So 13, it's gonna be zero. Oh, I see. I think I, I think I, I was thinking of something wrong. So actually, this is new. This is new width because we need to go back. So we're staying, we're st staying at zero on y and zero at x, but then z needs to go back. Okay, and then the last one, it's gonna have to be this point right here. We need to go basically across and back. So we just don't need to increment y. So this is gonna be zero. So we don't, yeah, that looks right. Okay, perfect. 
So now what I need to do is go ahead and set triangles for that. And we're just gonna say bottom face triangles. We need to increment this 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we're gonna do the same thing, 12, 14, 13. 12, 14, 13. And then lastly, 14, 15, and 13. 14, 15, and 13. And let me just make sure that I that everything is looking good. 12, 14, that looks good. And let's see, that looks good. Just make sure that, okay, yep, looks like we're good. Now, oh, and now we need to do also the normals. So I'm gonna increment this by four at the normals. This one's gonna be the bottom phase normals. 12, 13. 14 and 15 all right let's go back into let's go back into unity and let's go ahead and play, hit play and we should see a new face showing up if everything works it looks like we have another index at a range exception it's like i keep getting those and more likely it's gonna be let's see because i'm going yeah this one is gonna be 24 i always forget to do the, the triangles Okay, let's go back into Unity. Hit play and see see what the results are. See if we're getting a basically our bottom face. And looks like we so this is a good mistake because I, I think I got I think we have the triangles incorrectly on on that back face. So let me see. Yeah, it looks like I did something incorrect. So let's go back and check what i might have done wrong so this is the bottom phase and i'm 17 18 18 20 21 22 and 23 so i'm doing 12 14 and 13 which is good and then i'm doing 14 15 and 13. okay these two are aligned with those two and then 15 and 14 which is great I think everything looks, I think that, as far as that, that works well. Let me look at, what's interesting though, it's that the, the phase that has the issues is, first of all, this is not the proper, that's not the, the phase that I intended to create, because the one that I wanted to create was the bottom one. So technically, I think I did something incorrectly. And let me make sure. So I'm going up to 16, which is what I, which is what I did. Okay, perfect. Let me let me make sure that these are correct. So I'm doing 0, 0, 0, and then I'm going, then I'm going 0, 0, and then new width. Oh, we should never go up because this is the bottom one. So this one should be. I see what I did wrong. Let's see. So this one is 0, 0, width. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. So we need to start with this one, then go across to 13. So 13 is gonna be, yeah, I have the numbers incorrect. That's gonna be the width, and then I stay in a zero, zero on Y and Z. Then I need to go, to go to 14, we need to stay a zero. And then we're never gonna go up, so that's gonna be zero. This is gonna be zero, and this is gonna be near width, okay? It's gonna take us there. And then this one is gonna be new width. New, yep, that looks good. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And let's make sure that, yeah, it looks like that, that was the issue. So just incorrect calculations. I think, you know, once in a while, my math just doesn't work well. <laughs> All right, so I think, I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and finish up with the last two faces. Let's go back here. And remember that I ended up 15 so we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer and we're gonna work on the left face and the right face so I'm going to I'm going to basically remove what we did here so the next one is 16 oh it looks like I draw them on the on the background anyways it's okay we'll create a new background so we can see what, what I'm doing 
let's go ahead and just make it white again there we go so and we can delete this extra layer so the next one is going to be 16 so let's go ahead and grab my my pencil here we're going to say and make sure that i have the proper color so let's go ahead and go go to black so i'm going to start here then this is going to be 16 this one is going to be 17 this top one is going to be 18 and there we go and i'm using my touchpad that's why my numbers look horrible so okay 16 17 18 and 19. so i think that looks good which is what we did all across and then just like we did on on everything everything else we're basically just going to divide this into two so on these ones we we divided them right here we also divided these ones right here so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to divide these ones right here and we're going to go clockwise so i'm going to go 16 18 and 17 and then 18 18 and 17. okay so let's go ahead and go back into the code and i'm going to go ahead and create a new set of well these are triangles let's go ahead and do vertices first just like we did and we're basically just going to duplicate it twice and this one's going to be right and we'll just comment these ones out for now and then i'll go back and then uncomment them okay so we'll do 16 17 18 we're almost done with all the vertices and okay so perfect so now what we need to do is this one is going to be also a zero 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 which is what we have zero 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 we we now need to go to the next one which is going to be a zero zero and then width and then width to go into the depth so it's going to be zero 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 near width so that's going to give us this one right here so we have this one completed we also have this one completed now we need to stay at zero here we need to go up on y and then there's no depth so we can go back here so we need to say new height and then zero now we still need to we still need to stay right here but we need to go up on height and also on width so let's go ahead and so this one is going to be zero and then this one is going to be new height and then new width so that should give us the left less face and well, while we're on it i think we can just go ahead and create the which i already did let me just already just comment this out so if we can just create both of them at the same time so we can get it get them done 20 and 23 so for this side though we're gonna have to so the last number was 19 we're gonna start at 20 21 this one is gonna be 22 and then 23 so 20 is gonna be so we're not gonna be at 000, zero but we are gonna be at basically new width and then it's going to be zero on y and zero on z so that's correct now for 21 it's going to be we're still going to go across but the the y is going to stay at zero so it's going to be new width and then this one is going to be new width because we need to go we need to go back awesome so that's going to get take care, take care of this point and this point now for this one we're still going to have to go across to get basically our width we also need to go up so we're gonna have to do a new height and it's gonna be zero because we don't need to go back just yet now on the last one we have to go we have to go across all three because we're going to the right we're going top and then we're going in depth and this was 20 30. make sure that you can see that and then the same thing that we did on on the other ones we're just gonna divide it and we'll do 20 20 22 and 21 all right, so now what we need to do here because we're going to be adding let's see we're going to be adding a new set of triangles so this one right here oops we just undo all that looks like i copy it a million times all right so this one is going to be left face triangles so let's focus on that first and this one is going to be 24 25 26 27 28 and 29 so in this case we added we basically added six more indexes so we're gonna have to go to 30 excellent and then 
for the first set, remember that we, we're always starting clockwise. So we're going to go 16, 18, and 17. So we're going to go 16, 18, and 17. And then we're going to go 18, 18, and 17. 18, 19, and 17. Okay, so that should take care of that. Now let's go ahead and look at the normals really quick. Because those ones are going to be the same way. And there we go. Now we can just do left face normals. And I'm using the cooling on the on the shader. So that's why all of these ones are basically pointing to the same. But if you wanted to do it, you know, on, on a different if you have if you weren't using the lightweight rendering pipeline that I'm using, which because I'm using the shaders to to set the normals, you, you basically will need to determine the, the basically the direction of the normals. So in this case I'm just basically setting them up to be the same just to simplify this process. Okay, but you can look at the previous example that I did in Qua and that one has the that one has the correct basically direction. This one's I'm just sending the same direction to all of them. Alright, so that should do that one and we can probably just do the right, right one as well. Since we know this one is a lot simpler. And I'm just making sure that they all have a normal. Okay, and then we'll increment this one to 24. Because we have 24 vertices. Okay, so that this one should be okay. And this one should be okay as well. And I'm making sure 30 and then we're going to need 36. So let's go up because we need, we need also the right side of the face triangles. And this one is going to have to be incremented as well. So 30, 32, 33, 34, and 35. And now we can look. So it's going to be the, the same thing that we did here. It's going to be 20, 22, and 21. 20. 22 and more likely I made a mistake in this process but we'll fix it if we have so 22 23 and 21 22 23 and 21 all right so I think I have all the triangles that we need to do a cube so and then the right face I think it's correct yep so you can probably value more now what it takes to create a cube and and obviously what I did here is, is very manual there are ways to basically loop through and and create a more, a more a more elegant way so i'll do that on on the next video but for now let's go ahead and check and make sure that we we have all the vertices correct and and all the normals correct and also the triangles so i'm gonna hit play see if everything works and looks like we are having an issue because i have a another index out of range exception and that's probably because, yeah, I didn't increment the, this one should be 24, because we have 24 vertices in this case. And there we go, 16, 17, 18, okay, so it looks like we're good. Let's go back. And you can see that I was able to see the cube, so I know that it's going to work. And there we go. Except that... Uh, there's one phase that is not showing. Let me see why. So I can see all faces. Make sure that, that is accurate. I can see all of them except. There we go. And make sure that I have. There we go. I think. I think if I do that. So, so what I did right now, just just to keep it simple, I'm just basically setting the cooling to to be to be both, and I I can do that through code as well. So if we go here, and we do, let me see if I remember how to do this because I only done this once. I, I believe this is cool, and then we just say render mode. I think it's called cooling mode but I know that is let me make sure that that is correct we can do a search let's see what this is taking to make sure that 
I know it's part of the rendering. Let me go ahead and do a quick search. Uh, and I'm going to do a search on the pipeline, on the rendering pipeline. So let's go ahead and go here into Edit Shader. And let's look for coal. And there we go. And that, that one is a, a float. Let's try. I know it's an integer, but I don't remember the value that we need to set. One is for both, one is for uh, front, one is for back. What I want to do is just make sure that it's always set to both so we can see, we can disregard the normals. It looks like two, let's see, we're two set it to front. Now if we do one, let's see what that does. Let's go ahead and hit play. And one. I also did it. Let's try cool with the low, with underscore. So this is, that's what it's called in the shader. And let's see if that is changing. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. So that obviously changed to back. So I think it's I think it's working. So I just set it to two. There is an enum that basically specify the call. I just can't remember what it is. So let's get, go ahead and hit play and see if this one. And that one is now doing front. So it's probably zero to tell it to the render face is going to be both. Gonna hit play. And yeah, that's what it was. So you can now see that we have basically have a cube and the as far as like the normals i i set all the normals to have the the right direction basically the the forward direction with a negative number but then i overrode the render face so that we could always see all basically all parts of this cube and if i go and change i could change you know the color if i wanted to change the color here and, and make some changes i could change i believe i can change the emission if it changes correctly let me see there we go so so that is basically our cube i think i need to i need to do some some improvements on the on the way that we're creating the cube because right now it's very very manual so just bear with me i'm going to do another video where we where we go in and actually create a create a cube in a more elegant way but i hope this was helpful to you and if you guys have any questions please let me know all right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. If you're starting now or if you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. Also, find me on Patreon where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm also posting early access to source code and a lot more different content. So, thank you very much, guys.